Good morning everybody, this is Jean here from True Love Quilts For You um, We're going to be doing our block party, or I'm joining it in, I hope you're enjoying yourselves um, I've tried to make the first two blocks um, interesting but not all that hard um, and the next few won't be all that difficult for you beginners um, I'm really enjoying seeing the different blocks that everyone's coming up with, the different color combinations. I find it, I find it very interesting. I was um, telling Jen, who was uh, introducing our block party, she's going to be joining us in a, in a little while, not today, but in a lo little while. I was telling her that um, um, I was explaining about a, a background fabric, and um, <laughs> it was funny. She said the majority of, of uh, of uh, blocks that are being submitted are that they have a white or a neutral background fabric, and and it was just funny because I you, the background fabric doesn't have to be um, white. It doesn't have to be gray or black. It could be a color, and a, and a few people have. Uh, I didn't make mine. I made mine in I made mine in white, but very basic. Um, but a few people have stepped outside the box and done done um, their backgrounds in a in a print. Um, real real interesting. I. Th I'm, I'm, I, I like to think of myself sometimes because I don't teach conventional, a, a lot of the time I don't teach a conventional manner. Um, I like to think of myself not as a quilter, as an artist. Um, uh, quilters, I know there's some quilters who take umbrage at how I teach, or well, not how I teach, how I actually do things, um, because it's not uh, the mathematical, precise uh quilter way which is fine there's a million ways to make a block there's a million ways to measure something there's a million ways to cut um and i do it my way perhaps sometimes a little bit unconventional um but um we all get there in the end so however you you hold your rotary cutter or cut as long as you be comfortable that's what the whole point is not to emulate me to the precise perhaps in the beginning yes but if you feel that's not right for you or that's not comfortable for you by all means experiment with your own method of quilting your own method method of of um of artistry really of putting your fabrics together a lot of people are doing that i'm seeing a lot of for beginners you're really good like really, really good. Um, there are blocks that have been sent to me that are on the web. I got a few mixed up and I apologize. I'm not a computer person, as you know, and I just started this. I don't know. I, I have a little bit more of a clue now how to upload an image and then to drag it. But um, I, I got a few names mixed up, so I apologize profusely for that. And I'm, I'm being inundated with blocks. Um, that was my whole point. And uh, Jen had said in the beginning, perhaps we could just have um, the, the end result of a quilt. I might have to do that um, because I'm spending like an hour and a half on my computer when I could be sewing. But I, I'll see. I, I quite love seeing all the individual blocks. But if more and more people join, it's taking a lot of my time um, out of my sewing room and out of my life. Um, it was a good idea, but if I had somebody to do it. But um, it's just me. It's just me. Anyway, enough waffling. Block number three. What do you think? It's not, um, it's, um, a, there's such a thing called a square and a square. This isn't a square and a square. Um, somebody said, oh, show us how to do a square and a square. This looks like there's a square and squares around. A square and a square is a square with, set into like a, a diamond shaped square. This isn't. This is a very simple block. We're focusing on this block a little bit more on um, the precision cutting, the measurements, as opposed to piecing. The other ones we were we were we were um, concentrating on our points and our, our quarter inch seam. Very important here, but this is an easy block, but you're actually utilizing nine different um, prints on your on your material that you're using and again if you're not using fat quarters if you're using 10 inch squares if you're using scraps doesn't really matter but on mine as i was saying this is my background fabric the white center and then i i chose to use a darker frame 
around the white center and then and then eight different fabrics around the edges just to add a little bit of oomph a, a bit of color this is a bit more angular as I was saying before I'm going to be doing some stars and hopefully if I can figure it out an applique that we can oops <laughs> sorry that we can applique um, just a simple raw edge applique so this is our block number three and I here's my block number two and my block number one and I think they all you know as as you will find that as as you go along you're like excited you know like oh my my blocks are coming together and I can actually see um I can see my my quilt coming together um up, we're up to block three already so this is simple I show you the exact precise measurements it's an easy one um but I think you'll be really thrilled um to make this so I'm going to put my tutorial up to after after this introduction um, and I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to share block number three of our block party. So um, have at it and um, send me in your blocks and I'll, I'll see if I can. I, you know, with the website, you have to keep adding sections. Oh, I wanted to tell you. It's not for mobile devices, apparently. Jen was saying, I, I can't, I only see a bit on a mobile device. I don't know how to do that. That's almost another whole web design uh, thing. I don't know how to do that. I sit and, as, if you ever see me look over, I'm looking at my computer. I have a big computer here. I do everything on my computer, my, my desktop computer. Um, and that's where I've designed this thing. So, um work in progress I'm a work in progress um, but you're guys you're gonna you're gonna perfect this block remember to finish it 12 and a half inches that's if you've got your quarter inch seams properly and down pat so you're gonna finish this block here the raw edges should measure 12 and a half inches if they don't as I've said don't stress about it we can you can arrange you can um um uh like sort of mess your sashings a little bit. I'll address that when we get to it. But try to get your quarter inch seams with my exact measurements. And and I was thinking, I'm not precise, but I am. I am. I, I, I like to do things properly. If they don't turn out, well, then, I, then I'm thinking, oh, well, I may or may not rip it out. Most times I don't. And I just work around it but if if you want to learn and learning properly Jen was saying her first block didn't turn out as, as best as it should and I was talking to her about that and we're going to address that when she when she visits me again why exactly she her block didn't turn out um and then she redid it and it turned out better so this is our block number three um I hope you're enjoying it I'm enjoying it very much um about once a week I'm putting these up probably like every sad Sunday afternoon you can look for our block so we're, we're on block number three so far uh, almost one row done okay folks thank you very much for following along and um, all the best making your your lovely little block we're going to start making this block here block number three with um, an assortment of tons of different fabrics, just little pieces as you've seen in the final block, but it's a nice colorful, it's not a log cabin, it's just a building, a building um, rectangles upon square. And as you've seen, um, the black and white square within a square is this fabric here. I'm going to be cutting two, two and a half inch strips. There's one. I've made sure the pattern is lovely and uh, because this is a direct, not a directional pattern, but a, more of a graphic pattern that my pattern is nice and square and nice and straight so it's not all wobbly. So there's my one two and a half inch strip and then I have another two and a half inch strip here and again you can see that if you don't, um, and when you're working with a stripe or a plaid, you just have to be careful that you keep your fabric um, nice and straight. Um, I cut this on the 18 inch line uh, on my on my one fat quarter. You probably will just be using a regular, um, uh, not a not a a grid pattern, as it were. Um, so you don't really have to worry about it. So you want two, um, eight, you want two, two and a half inch strips. Now from this, 
strip here, what I want to have is I want to have, just line it up on my grid, I want to have um, two rectangles of eight and a half inches. Now it's interesting, this grid is eight and a half inches. So I'll just line that up eight and a half inches to the end to here. So I have one eight and a half inch strip and then bring that over here and then I'll have two eight and a half inch strips. And toss that little piece. And then from our second eight and a, uh, our two and a half inch uh, strip, I need um, uh, two four and a half inch strips. And I think I said um, last week on my um, my block two, I'm I'm um I don't use my cutting mat, my rotary mat. I don't use these markings. I. Uh, I use them to, to put my fabric, to, to line up my fabrics. Um, I know a lot of people use these markings. This is an inch, and I, I know that Jenny Dones always uses these. I get confused. It's a whole bunch of stuff. So I just like my rulers. Um, yeah, I just like my rulers, uh, so, you know, to cut with. So what, I, what I'm doing here is this is nice and straight, nice and square. I need two of the, the two and a half. I need two, two and a half by four and a half. So I find my four and a half right there. And I butt this up against it. You've seen me do this a million times. So here's one, two and a half by four and a half. And then here's two. Two and a half by four and a half. Now, I also need, um, I also need, um, I, I think if you remember, we had some of the, the scrap, the background left over, but I need just one piece that's four and a half, and it's four and a half that way, but it's not four and a half, so I can't use them. That's only four. So anyway, I'll save that. Save the little bits. So I just need one. I just need one piece. I'll just come along like that and do it like this. I need one square that's four and a half inches by four and a half inches. So just take that off. I've squared this up really nice. I take my ruler again and I'll find my four and a half by four and a half inch. And here is my four and a half by four and a half, um, it's right to there, four and a half by four and a half, and I should be doing it the other way, shouldn't really cut, be cutting towards me, but I'm okay doing this. So there is my four and a half inch center block there. Now, what I've pulled, and I've actually already um, iron them. Remember, make them really nice. Put these aside for our blocks. What we're going to be needing from these assorted prints, and I've actually pulled eight different fabrics here, eight different fat quarters. I've already used a bit of that one. Um, what I'm going to be needing is I'm going to be needing four, two and a half by four and a half inch. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be putting my, um, my strips on top of each, my fabrics on top of each other, and I'm going to be cutting. I'll just cut. Oh, well, I, I'll cut two at a time, and then I'll I'll just continue cutting. Now you've seen me cut enough. Now this is nice and straight here. I'm going to be cutting. Um. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to be cutting two and a half inch strips from these. This is nice and straight. I'll just straighten that up. Oops. That's all right. I'm not going to go up there. 
and then I'll just be using these bits here. Um, so I'm going to get my two and a half inch strip here. There's my two and a half inch, my two and a half inch. I just need four. So here's going to be two, two and a half by four and a half. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just t I'm just doing two fabrics at a time. I need four of. Just save this. Save these fat quarters. So I have two. Now I need. Uh, let me see. I need two more. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just pulling these. That's the uh, that's the beauty of just just um, you know you know pulling and, and having it fairly random. So I need again I need four of these. Um, I mean two of these. Two more. Just slice that up. Oops, my my blade just seems to not be working real good right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's weird. Uh, so I'll just straighten that up. And I'm going to do another two and a half inch strip. Two and a half inch. Put that over there. And then I just need, I just need um, a four and a half inch. I need four of these. That made sense. That was a little bit confusing for a second. So there's my four and a half inch. Whoops, just shifted my four and a half inch. So I have, and I'll put that over there. So I have four two and a half by four and a half inch strips. Now I'm going to be needing the last thing I'm going to be needing out of the remaining four fabrics. I'll do two at a time. I'm going to be needing four, again, two and a half by six and a half. So I'll do it, um, I'll do it this way. I'll get rid of the selvage here, my fat quarter. I'll get rid of the selvage, straighten it all up nice. Rid of that selvage, and then I'll be cutting a two and a half, <clears throat> two and a half inch strip. So here I am. Sorry, my camera just switched off. So I'm going to be cutting my remaining two and a half inch by six and a half inch strips. I'll straighten this edge up here. And then I, I want a two and a half inch strip. There it is. And then, like I did the other, get rid of this end there, and then a six and a half inch strip. Six and a half right there. So we have we have four two and a half by six and a half. We have four two and a half by four and a half. We have our one four and a half inch square. And our black frame we have two and a half by four and a half and then two and a half by eight and a half. So hopefully you can maybe take a screenshot of my my uh, what you what you need to cut and how ooh, how I cut them and then how I'm going to put them together now. I've seen the finished block, so you understand now that I'm making the the uh, 
the um, center block, the black uh, surrounded framed block. Again, to it, um, my quarter inch seam on one end, and then pretty sides together, and then my quarter inch seam on the other end. Now what I will be doing between filming this is, actually I'm going to just finger press that. I'm going to finger press that just so you can see the idea. Finger pressing is good, you just be careful not to really pull it and stretch it. But you can finger press that. And then what I'm doing, remember we have the two, look how lovely that works. The two eight and a half inch strips, the black frame. So with my finger pressing, I can come over to my machine with my quarter inch seam and having, having pushed that seam up to the dark side and back down to the dark side, you probably will want to pin this. We're just making a black and white frame again around that white box as you've seen and right off. Now I will, when I'm done this, there you go, you can see our block being built. You take the other one and you just lay it and it's, it's perfectly, we've cut it and we've sewn it perfectly uh, with our quarter inch seam. And that's all nice, nice and finger pressed. Push that up there. quarter inch seam, go nice and slow, and we'll have made the beginnings of our inner block. Oh, my scissors dropped. This is an easy block also, but it ha there's a lot of, a lot of pow. You see that? And because it's graphic, do you notice how I kept all of these lines, these, um, images. If it was a bit skewed, it's very difficult sometimes working with plaids or stripes. You have to be very careful. So you just have to be careful when you're cutting if you're going to be using a plaid or a stripe. So I'm going to take this over to my ironing board and then I'll, I'll show you what we do for the next step. So I have my lovely frame. Now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking our two and a half inch by our four and a half inch um, assorted prints and make a nice a nice, I'll, I'll do a, a, a um, peach and a green. We're going to be sewing them together on the short side because this is going to become this frame around our unit here. So we're just going to be putting them on the short side, quarter inch seam. And again, if you, in the next few weeks, I want you to become familiar with chain piecing because I could have just chain pieced them right along here. But if you're not comfortable, we'll just do one, one unit at a time then. And so right down here, my two and a half inch by four and a half inch pieces right off. And now, again, I can just finger press them to the dark and I can look how beautifully that fits right along that edge unit there. A quarter inch seam and right off. And the same, the same over here. I'll do the, the bluish blue green over there. Starting up there, quarter inch seam. 
just finger pressing that up to that darker bit. Quarter inch seam. And to get these these seams right under and right off the edge. Now I'm going to take this over to my ironing board and we are almost done with this with this quilt block here. Unreal. So there's our nice pressed block and the exact same way now that we are we're dealing with our two and a half by six and a half inch assorted fat quarter pieces is we're going to be sewing them. I'll make a nice I'll do two like salmon and two green quarter inch seam and then we're going to be sewing that to the top, and I'll just show you what I do here. Put that pretty sides together, and then just pop, pop, pop up the, um, the presser foot and come down, and then just continue stitching. This is called chain piecing, and then right off. And then what you do is you have two pieces two blocks as it were, two units, and you just cut. And you've just sewn two units when you would have just sewn one. So now here's our block. Again, I'm going to finger press this up to the top here. And I quite like, um, I quite like this configuration here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do, no, I like that quite like that and by all means it, it fits perfectly by all means if you need to you can pin it with those seams by all means you can pin it and then do your perfect quarter inch seam starting at the top here oops got caught under there there you go there's my quarter inch seam Go nice and slow and steady. How easy is this block? But what a lot of, like what a lot of bang for the for the buck, really. It looks it it looks something. You're using quite a lot of your fabric now, even if you're just using bits of it. It's really making it interesting block. I think I'm going to be running out of bobbin thread soon. Do I have enough? I think I have just enough. <laughs> Look how pretty. So then what I do is I take this piece that we've done and I'm I'm going to put it on I'll put the uh, the red this way and there we go. If you want to pin it, it fits perfectly. that I'll push that to this side finger press it this way and come down you can pin it by all means and then right off now I'm going to go over I'm going to take this over to my ironing board I'm going to press really, really lovely. Oh my word, what a pretty, pretty block. How lovely is that? We have finished block three. Now obviously the trickiest part of this block is we're cutting lots of small pieces. So refer back to my video to get your six and a half inch pieces, your four and a half inch pieces, because they're all from different pieces of the um, different from, from fat quarters to get a nice variety and then of course your eight and a half inch pieces here and your four and a half inch block. Hopefully you'll have written it down or um, you can stop my video. Now let's see what how I've done. There you go my 12 and a half inch block. Um, third week I'm doing good. I'm really pleased about it. Um, let me just grab my other quilt blocks here 
see what we have. Look at our lovely quilt coming to life. When, 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 by the time we put our sashing in between, it's just so pretty. Yeah, lovely. You see all of my fabrics, they're all, the, they're all different fabrics, but they're all the same colorway. So hopefully you'll have fabrics you've been loving um, week one, week two, and now week three um, for our lovely sampler quilt block. Really utilizing and pretty, bringing and, and getting you some, um, utilizing the fabric and getting you some nice piecing techniques of actually the, how accurate you're cutting, how absolutely accurate, and then your quarter inch seams and how beautifully these blocks and these seams are coming together. It's just so, so very, very, very well done. Um, and I'm sure if you follow along with me, you'll be really thrilled with the um, with your block too. So that's block number three. I'm thrilled about it. I hope you love it, folks. And um, yeah, we're on our quilt journey. Thanks so much. All right, bye.